Welcome back. It is game day here on Fox 35. The UCF Knights kick off the season at home against Kent State tonight. And Fox 35's John Brown is live at the tailgate getting us ready for all the action. You know, John, I've known you for about 11 years now, and if there's one thing I can say about John Brown, <laughs> he's going to find some free food. Well, that's what I do. It's free food Thursday for John Brown. That's what I do. By the way, we're out here for the tailgate party right on cue. The sun came out because they'd emptied out the stadium a little bit ago because we had lightning in the area. But just like that, it's perfect evening for football. Also got out here early, saw this mug shot, and I'm thinking, what is this guy? And that's so I'm right here. This is Ryan. He's with Matern Engineering. Good to see you, Ryan. Good to see you. All right, little birdie also told me it is your birthday. Is that correct? It is. It's very close. All right. Well, happy birthday. So because I'm a giving kind of person, actually, you're giving us all the food, but I'm a giving person. Person, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, just one question, and you'll get a prize. Who is the head coach for UCF football? Oh, crap, no. George Foreman. George Foreman. <laughs> Gus Malzahn. Gus Malzahn. And so he wins a, a Fox 35 uh, lip thing. There you go. My daughter used it earlier, but there you go. Congratulations. Okay, so that's the birthday guy. So speaking of Gus Malzahn, I caught up with him a little bit ago to talk about the big game tonight and a whole lot more. Take a listen. Coach, thanks for making time for us today. Yeah, thank you. All right, first game this weekend. People at home watching thinking, what should I get excited about? Explain what you're excited about with the team this year. Yeah, I think more than anything is uh, just getting out there and just seeing what we're about as a team. I mean, we've got a lot of experience back, a lot of high expectations, and just watching us play another opponent and learning about us, and that's what I'm most excited about. You've been in these positions before, big time football. Do you still get nervous in cases you, like you this? You know, I, I get that. 24 hour before the game feeling. I don't know if it's nervous, but it's excitement. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it just never goes away. I ask that because who gets more nervous? Your family, your daughters, yeah. your Who gets my more wife, nervous for my you? My wife. Does Chris, she really? Christy gets more nervous, yeah. Because, and she should. She, she she can't control it. You know, she right. has to watch it and everything that goes with it. But I'm real blessed to have her. My two daughters, they get a little nervous too, but uh, it's a good nervous. Do the grandkids know what you do? Uh, you know, grandpa's on the big yeah, stage. Yeah, I, I think my oldest, he's five. I think he kind of understands a little bit. The other three are still trying to figure it out. You know, the one problem for head coaches is you guys work all the time. Do you get to enjoy Orlando at all, or is or is this yeah. this your world right now? No, really in the off season, um, got a chance to really go out. I love it. I mean, there's yeah. so many great places to eat. There's so much to do. Uh, it doesn't get much better than this. Okay, a couple football questions here. So what are you watching for in this first game? You guys are heavily favored in yeah. this. I know fans at home just yeah. look for the score. What yeah. do you look for, though? Yeah, just playing good quality, hard-nosed football. Uh, you know, that's really, it's about us. It's about us executing. You know, they, they got a new team. We don't know much about them. New players, new coaches. But really, it's about us just executing at a high, a high level and playing good, clean, hard-nosed football. Have you ever been able to enjoy a big-time tailgate party? Uh, no. You're always working. No, no, no I, I, I just hear about the tailgate, <laughs> so, you know. Well, maybe later this year when you guys are doing really well, you can join me for the tailgate party and, and you can decompress. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I, I doubt that's going <laughs> to happen. That's not going to happen. But, but yeah. All yeah. right, Coach. Thanks for All your time, right. man. Appreciate it. Okay. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Yeah, but I could tell Coach Malzahn wanted to come out here and enjoy this. I mean, look at this grill they have set up here. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, maybe later on, after they're doing well during the year, they can come out here. Okay, coming up, I also had the chance to catch up with quarterback John Rice Plumley, and we talked about everything. We did rapid-fire questions. I asked, who gets more nervous before the games? Is it you, your dad, your mom? I also asked him about Harry Potter. There's a cool Harry Potter angle there, too. So, stuff, we didn't even talk about football. But you'll get to know the quarterback, and he's a really cool dude, so that's coming up in just about a half an hour. So I'm going to get back to the food here. I got my good friends here. We're all just hanging out, getting ready for the football game to start. And so I'll send it back to you guys in studio. All right, John, I hope John Rice Plumley has a wand. That would be so awesome. I and can't I, wait. I hope John Brown can get some <laughs> unused chapstick to hand out. I know. Did you give that man lip Something. balm for real, John? <laughs> I, I did actually give him lip balm, and he gave it back already. He did. Okay. It's his He's birthday, and he didn't want the lip balm. You need to come better than lip balm on a birthday. All right, we'll check back That's with you in a bit. Lip balm. Well, yeah, 